scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. How many of you believe that this Bible is real? How many of you believe that this Bible is the truth? How many of you believe that Jesus died? You must believe it. The Bible says he that comes to God must believe. Hallelujah. I thank God for a platform like Koinonia and I honor the Lord with no bias because it is a prophetic place where the demonstration of the reality of the kingdom is made manifest. I will never want to represent a God who is powerless. Hallelujah. Why should I stand and tell people that Jesus died and I was not there and there is no way to prove it. When Jesus died on the cross, he said it is finished and all the powers of hell heard him. Hallelujah. Lots of people teach about Jesus being victorious. We write books about the victory of Jesus. We write books and, and we preach all kinds of messages about the glory of God. Hallelujah. But there are very few people who can become envoys of the demonstration of the reality of this glory. Hallelujah. And let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. Our God is a powerful God. Don't let your circumstances rise to a point where they diminish the power of God. My God is mighty. That's why we sang that song. He's a savior that can move mountains. Hallelujah. Jesus left us a powerful gospel. Jesus left us a victorious life. Jesus did not die to just bring some average people who are under the mercy of Satan. Can I tell you something? Satan is not the opposite of Jesus. I've said this thing again and again. Because the theology that many people have been taught in church is that Satan is touched not. Don't touch him, he won't touch you. Who told you? Hallelujah. There are all kinds of cold ministries and churches who make many members sit down and wonder. They read what the Bible says here. The Bible says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth in me, the works that I do, he shall also do. He said, and greater works. We've preached all versions of what we believe to be greater works. Hallelujah. Jesus defeated Satan. He defeated hell and the grave. And he rose again. But many people say amen. But our life is not stamping that amen. Hallelujah. And there are many of us preachers that claim we are called. We even claim we are anointed. Do you know what the anointing is? The anointing is not something that throws people on the floor. If that's all the anointing does, then we in two, hurricane is also anointing. Are you getting my point now? The anointing is God's ability to do work. The same power that created the universe. Hallelujah. That's the power that can quench 
the voice of every evil listen let me tell you something it's so sad that even in the body of christ today when people are delivered from the hand of darkness hallelujah they are criticized and people say deliverance is over are you joking the hallmark of the demonstration of the authority is the displacement of darkness by light praise the lord there are many people who go to church every sunday every monday every tuesday we sit down there and the devil is tying many destinies down and the preacher comes with his manuscript and comes to recite all kinds of poems my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by the lord left us a church of power he left us a church of authority are you getting my point and let me tell you something we have no right to stop people from going to herbalists and witch doctors until the church becomes a place of light where people can come genuinely we are very quick to criticize people and say why did you go to the herbalist why did you go to this and that and that but let me tell you something if the church cannot solve the problem of people they will keep going to every herbalist possible are you hearing what i'm saying because people are desperate for a solution it's easy for us to sit down as men of god with our suit and ties and all the protocols around and there are people who are there are some of you right now in this place your issue is a matter of life and death your sickness is a terminal disease you may just be laughing but you know that you have they've given you the range of time to live there are people who have traveled risking themselves on the road will they just come and sit down and watch a man on suit and watch nicely dressed people are you joking the church of the lord jesus christ has become so powerless with men of god bragging all around Yet there are demons and principalities. There are all kinds of things tying the lives of people down. And we preach all kinds of message to explain away responsibility. The God that saved me is a powerful God. The God that anointed me is a powerful God. And the last time I checked my Bible, I never saw Satan arguing with God. Are you getting what I'm saying? The Bible tells us that he entered a city and he, when he entered a city, it was noised. Let's go to our Bibles. Ah, my body is itching me to do something for the devil this night. Mark 1. I believe in the power of God. Oh. I believe in the power of God. Someone said, I don't believe in healing. I said, no problem. The day the doctors cannot help you, you will believe surely or the day your brother or sister is diagnosed with something that the doctors cannot cure you will believe that miracles are real there are people even maybe some of you sitting down right now you don't even believe that miracles are real you are welcome hallelujah it's sad that we live in a generation where men of god fake miracles they call somebody to sit on a wheelchair and then they say stand up and he stands up and nigerian films have been they have received a recent baptism from the devil to mock men of god hallelujah and they act all kinds of films and the man of god is casting the devil and the devil will turn and slap the man of god and then the man of god will be paralyzed these kinds of teachings and they scorn men of god let me tell you something not everybody is fake there are people who have met god are you hearing what i'm saying and all this mockery that they mock men of god and make them powerless and you see a man praying and the demons are around they are even dancing and rejoicing joking except where the, the bible says the light shines in the darkness and it says the darkness not only lives but it cannot comprehend it hallelujah mark 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mark 1, verse 21. Let me just read a few scriptures to let us know that this kingdom is a kingdom of power. This kingdom is a kingdom of grace. It's a kingdom of strength. Don't sit helpless as though Satan cannot bow. Let me tell you something, he can bow. We have watched a lot of witchcraft activities. We have seen so many things in our families. And because of that, many people have come to believe that nothing can be done. We've stayed around a lot of unbelief. Verse 21. And they went to Capernaum and straight away on the Sabbath day, he entered into the synagogue and taught. 22. And they were astonished at his doctrine for he taught them as one with authority and not as the scribes. 23. And there was in their synagogue a man who had what? An unclean spirit. And when Jesus entered, the unclean spirit cried out, 24. Saying, let us alone. I mean, Jesus shows up in a synagogue. And a man is sitting quietly. And the light and power that emanates from him compels those demons to say, leave us alone. This is in your Bible. Christians, this is in your Bible. He said, what have we to do with thee? Thou Jesus of Nazareth. You now see why he told Paul, Jesus we know. Yeah. Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art. The Holy One of God. 25. And Jesus rebuked him saying, Hold thy peace and come out of him. Verse 26. And when the unclean spirit had turned him and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him 27 and they were all amazed you know why because until the new testament they didn't cast out demons they isolated those who had demons and stoned them at times are you getting my point because they did not have that ability so when they saw this happen that a man can speak this was a demonstration of the superiority of the kingdom of our god he said they were amazed in so much that they questioned among themselves saying what thing is this what new doctrine is this for with authority commanded he even the unclean spirits and they and they did the bible said they, they argued but the kind of church that we are marketing to believers today is the kind of church where believers argue we, we add you and you tell people be healed and the devil just sits there and all kinds of people come to church year after year and after year and nothing changes in their lives. This is Jesus. I'm telling you Jesus inspires me. Goodness. Read verse 32. Jesus inspires me. Sometimes when I begin to read the Bible, I just begin to cry. I say, what manner of man? What manner of man? 32. And when it was evening, when the sun did set, they brought to him how many? All that were diseased. They knew he was going to heal them. Pastors, do the members of our churches know we can heal them? Do they know? People just argue and say, me, I don't have the healing ministry. I, I just, my own is just to teach. We find the aspect that is easy and we capitalize on it. Show me who had the healing ministry in the Bible. They brought unto him all that were diseased and them that were what? Possessed with devils. What did he do? And all the city, Kabalako Satabaya. All the city came and gathered in front of the door because they were desperate for solution. Hear me, brothers and sisters. The world is still desperate for solution. And they will do anything. And he healed many that were sick of diverse diseases and cast out many devils and suffered not the devils to speak because they knew him 
Hallelujah. 35. And in the morning, rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place. Listen, because he had this ability to heal and deliver, he ran just to go and pray. And let's see what happened. 36. And Simon and they that were with him followed after him. 37. And when they had found him, they said what? Unto him, all men seek for thee. Why do they seek for thee? Many preachers think members come to church because they love them. You better stop dreaming. These people love themselves and they have problems. If you cannot solve their problems, get ready to be frustrated in ministry. So if a herbalist can do what a pastor should do, your members will come to church on Sunday. Immediately after the grace, they will take their honorarium and all their empty bottles and whatever and race down to go and meet a herbalist that they think they can seek for and try to look for power. If peradventure, the problem can be solved. But brothers and sisters, I bring you a message tonight. There is a God that is alive. Jesus is alive. Say it one more time. Jesus is alive. Say it again. Jesus is alive. We talk so much about the glory of God. We want to see your glory. Oh God, show us your glory. And I always ask, what is the glory of God? What is the glory of God? When we say, Lord, reveal your glory in the midst of your people. When we say, bring revival. What exactly are we talking about? Gold dust? Sparks of light? When we ask him to reveal his glory, let me tell you what the revelation of the glory is. John 1. Sorry, chapter 2. Chapter 2, verse 11. Let's see what the Bible says. John 2, verse 11. It's projected. Can we read together? One to read. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested forth his glory. Hold on. How did he manifest his glory? How did he manifest his glory? By the demonstration of miracles, signs and wonders. When he did things that astonished them. The revelation of the kingdom of God. The Bible says, as a result, his disciples believed on him. That means when the glory is truly revealed, it makes men believe in the name of the Lord. John the Baptist was caught and he was there in prison and he got angry. And the Bible says when he heard about the things that Jesus was doing, he sent, he said they should go and ask Jesus, Are thou the Christ? In other words, are you the anointed one or should we expect another? Jesus did not answer. He said, go and tell him the things that you see and hear. The blind see, the lame walk, the deaf, their ears are open, the dead are raised. This is the manifestation of the kingdom. If your family comes today and they come and receive breakthroughs and all kinds of cancers and tumors and demonic things leave them let me tell you something they will believe in the name of the lord it's very difficult to resist the power of god when you see it in action hallelujah it's very very difficult the lord wants us to believe in him while i was coming i saw something around the market i think i was going to pz in the afternoon and i saw somebody that gathered people around People just gathered. You know, all these men that tried to do all kinds of things. No invitation. And the people gathered. And I said, this God's own version will happen this night. Hallelujah. I believe in him. He didn't leave us a weak and beggarly gospel. He left us a gospel of power that can be demonstrated here and now. Everybody say the power of God is real 
and can be demonstrated here and now. So I bring you a word of encouragement. Especially for those of us who have come from different places. By the grace of God, with all humility, I assure you that this is not just a place you come around to just laugh and feel good and go. Something will change in your life. Because Jesus is alive and we believe him. We believe him. A man approved of God with miracles, signs and wonders. God has approved of us with miracles and signs and wonders. And tonight, let me tell you, we are here to put an end to the activities of wickedness. Hallelujah. There are many of us who are seated right here. Especially for those of us who are just coming here. Someone sent me a text, I think as early as 2 or 3 this morning. A lady, and she said she woke up and she had a very terrible dream. And in the dream, another woman was molesting her. And all kinds of things. She said, and this thing has happened again and again. You go and meet an average preacher. She says, oh, you don't have faith. If you had faith, the person would not come. Are you joking? <laughs> Whereas, the preachers too are suffering their own. Demons oppressed me for many years. I was healing the sick and casting out devils. I was still being oppressed by demon spirits. My own is not like a dream. I saw it. So it's, it's not like somebody is preaching a gospel. Another gospel. I have experienced it. I know that demons don't respect title. There is only one language that commands respect in the spirit. They can call you apostle. They can call you whatever you want to be called. No matter how mad a madman is, he never enters fire by mistake. He can carry something that doesn't belong. They say, I'll leave him, he's mad. But as mad as he is, when he sees fire, he will turn back. The Bible says, he maketh his angels, spirits, and his ministers, flames. Hallelujah. No matter how mad a man is, pastor, he doesn't enter fire. Because in his madness, he knows what fire can do. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, how awe-inspiring are your ways. It says, through the greatness of thy power, shall thy enemies submit themselves. I saw the devil jeopardize my family. I knew where my father came from. And I saw the activities of witchcraft and wickedness that happened. A lot of preachers preached me into believing everything was all right. But I knew that it is true that Christ died on the cross. But I knew that. See, let me tell you. Look up, please. Knowing what Jesus has done is not revelation. It is knowing what you need to do to make it a reality that is revelation. Many people have knowledge. Let me tell you. I preached somewhere. You can get the message. And I said the key to accessing the glory and demonstrating the reality of the kingdom is not knowledge, it's understanding. Understanding tells you how to make something real here and now. The day I caught a revelation and a light in my spirit, I ran home. I ran home and I stood in front of my door and I said, the demons that oppress me, I beg you, please come. This is not just some jamboree that we do in church. I knew it entered me. And let me assure you, ask the devil till tomorrow. Till tomorrow. But I never knew it was real. I prayed. I fasted. Seven days fasting. At the end of that fasting, they will come and oppress me. Let me tell you. I prayed. I fasted. Just like many of you have been fasting. But there are laws in this kingdom. Things don't just happen because you are born again. Are you listening to me? There are families that have come. Mama, let me tell you. 
God is going to visit you. As I'm standing here, I'm already seeing oppression. This is you being tied. Tied. This is what I'm seeing. Do you know a man can be walking physically, but spiritually he's in prison? Go and read your Bible. He said to open the doors of the prison. The people did not know they are in prison. Physically you are walking. Physically you are moving. Someone lives abroad and just comes back to remain in the village. They say, my brother, why did you come back? He said, me too, I don't know. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Many of, you are, many of you don't know why Paul said, I am not ashamed. If you understand the gospel very well, it takes courage to preach it because it's not attractive. So Paul said, I am not ashamed of every aspect of the gospel that must be taught. Hallelujah. We have seen all kinds of oppressions, all kinds of things. I've shared with you in this place a woman who came for counseling every time when she sleeps she sees monkeys coming to molest her and she had stillbirth at uh, the teaching hospital in Shika um, not Shika, the other one in, P in uh, PZ you know that one there in Sabo and she gave birth to half man half monkey dead physically how do you explain this? look, let me tell you come to terms with the fact that this world is a wicked world are you getting me? If you get this thing, this is deliverance for you this night. Because you will stop listening to many messages that don't make sense. At once you will know that if you do not arise and stamp the devil where he belongs, he will eat you up as if Jesus did not die. Hallelujah. I believe in the power of God. I am convinced that every believer should be a threat to the kingdom of darkness. I prayed for some ladies. I think you were there, Kenny. Some ladies that came and I prayed for them. One of the ladies, she had not slept for a long time because these demons come to oppress her. She can't sleep. When I prayed for her, I casted out that devil of darkness. There and then, it was less than 10 seconds, she started sleeping. You see what is killing some of our parents? They hold their drugs on their hands, but the sleep will not come. The Bible says he giveth his beloved sleep. And if the devil argues with that, you prove to him that you know what you are saying. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, God has never had cause to rise up from his throne, but there was still war in heaven for Satan to leave heaven. There had to be war to live. What do you think will make Satan just live freely in your life? If there was war to get Satan out of heaven, he said there was war in heaven. Is that not true? It was on account of that war, Satan was cast down. I write to you, my son Timothy, that ye wore a good warfare with the prophecy that has been given unto you. It didn't say carry. The warfare is not this madness we do around. The warfare is having an understanding of what your role is in making the word of God become a reality. And brothers and sisters, I bring you good news. We have fasted for today. We have prayed for today. The, all the departments and workers have prayed. We have prayed and I assure you, the devil will let you go tonight if you are interested. If you are, if you are not interested, there are other miracle service, services that are coming. But tonight, if you are tired, you can tell the devil is over. There are families that have been tied down. There are some of our fathers. They are not doing their responsibilities as men. And you think it's just like that. Nothing just happens. Nothing just happens. Are you hearing me? Nothing just happens. Satan knows that Jesus has died. Satan knows that he's given the church the victory. But he also knows that we are lacking in understanding. And we must keep contending. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Tonight is my night of liberty. In the name of Jesus. Tonight is my night of healing. 
it's my night of deliverance it's my night of breakthrough it's my night of restoration let me talk about marriage a little because we are going to confront that thing this night there are many people if the power of God does not step into your life you will never marry I don't care what you rob foundation the next one after it whatever it is because the problem is not your physical appearance there are powers that tie men down the Bible says he told he said what seest thou Zechariah 1 verse 18 he said four horns these horns have lifted up themselves against Judah against Israel against Jerusalem so that no man will lift up his head say but I have sent carpenters I have sent carpenters we are going to pray let me preach to everyone here that marriage is the will of God are you hearing me marriage is what absolutely the devil knows what marriage can do if marriage did not affect Satan he will not fight it are you getting my point sister the devil knows why he's fighting to make sure your husband does not come but this night this night the Bible says at a prophetic word bones that never saw each other for a long time started relocating till they came there is a husband for you don't let statistics deceive you whether it is 10 men 10 women to one man is none of your business are you hearing what I'm saying the Bible says you shall not call what they call conspiracy conspiracy he said when men shall say there is a casting down what is your testimony there is a lifting up many ladies are afraid now to an extent that people are just becoming desperate he said do you know there are no husbands who told you who told you who told you there are no husbands my God will locate you in the name of Jesus Christ we are going to address issues it's a miracle service it's not a healing service miracles are more than healing there are many of us here we are not sick but our family needs divine intervention quick financially and otherwise there are many of us everybody in your family is a graduate but nobody is working everywhere you go they drive you some of us even went abroad you went abroad you came back and you are looking as if you never went to school that devil must bow this night hallelujah and for those of us who have been told by the doctors that nothing can be done about your situation i bring you good news there is a way out soon as i yes one day i feed you can soon i soon as i yes one day i feed you can soon i soon as i yes one day i feed you can soon i yes soon as i yes For some of us is academic bondage people keep mocking you they think you are lazy you are reading all you can read you are doing everything but there are horns that have vowed that you will not arise are you getting what i'm saying there are horns that you are that have vowed that as far as admission is concerned you won't get it or as far as this is concerned they mark scripts when it's time to mark your own they forget it come on now don't tell me that's a coincidence when you know the realm of the spirit you know things do not just happen hallelujah a lecturer just looks at you and vows to punish you in that department what did you do i just hate you what kind of what kind of nonsense is that that's a spirit speaking through that person hallelujah and there are people here who have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb 
at least I know that I got two text messages by some people and God opened the womb of Hannah and he opened the womb of Rachel God can open wombs I don't care what they say is there how many of you have seen a bulldozer trying to throw something down whatever stands it way it clears it whether it's called fibroid whether it clears it away this is the God I serve hallelujah some of us have been given all kinds of reports and they've said you may never be able to have a child even if they remove your womb you will give birth hallelujah Mary said be it unto me according to your word her stomach started growing be it unto me when Joseph saw her stomach growing he said I will divorce you I have no business with what is happening and the angel said what are you saying keep this woman for that which is in her how it entered the word of God he says through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God shortly we'll rise up and pray for five minutes and that prayer is aimed at steering anger in you to say Lord I'm not going to go back the same hallelujah you know many of us hear words like this but the impetus to make it our word that's what we lack so you can rejoice over other people hallelujah you must get angry and say lord as you're visiting men this night i'm holding on to you like the woman with the issue of blood let people call me unclean no problem that's why i'm here are you getting my point you must get angry especially for those there are so many people you could not get seats you can't just be standing outside and then at the end of it you just go back and say i didn't get seat say lord as a reward for this standing the devil must bow hallelujah jesus wants his glory to be revealed and let me tell you something all things are possible say it after me all things are possible the bible says jesus healed them all he didn't say he healed some he didn't say he healed the, the ones that could be resolved then the ones that have gotten so bad he could not do anything the bible says he healed them all that means he delivered them all hallelujah and some of us here are standing in for our family members you know that we care about family here we are convinced in this place that if your family does not experience what you call salvation your Christianity is not yet complete he said as for me and what he didn't say as for me and myself as for me and my house it's not enough for you to receive breakthrough when there are people in your house who have not experienced that they must be open to this reality of the revelation of the power of God Isaiah 61 arise shine Isaiah 61 let's see what the spirit of the Lord came to do the glory of the Lord is risen upon me the spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord the master the owner of the universe has anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He had sent me to do what? Bind up the brokenhearted. He had sent me to proclaim what? Liberty. That means those who have been tied by ancestral causes and yokes, and they have said, nobody will cross this boundary you are the one who will cross it for the first time and tell your family members the door has been opened everybody can now freely pass without bowing down to a dagon without bowing down to a deity there are some of us as you are sitting down right now our parents are putting pressure on us come home or come to the village let them go and bath you with whatever let me tell you africa has not forgotten where they are coming from they are still practicing it it's just that we are practicing part traditional religion 
And then on Sunday, we are doing religious Christianity. Some people cannot just rise. It's called limitation. You know what limitation is? You don't remain there. You will move up. But it's like there is a mark that has been placed over your family. Nobody rises there. You see a man rising, doing well. He can get a job. One day, he will come back. Those deities are proving to you we are alive. But tonight, somebody, Kabali Kabarosataya, somebody will walk out and for the first time you will break those barriers and say people in my house just get children without getting married because of frustration when they are 55 years and no man is coming they say okay just get pregnant at least let's have children and you will say you are the one who will break that and you will usher in your children and everybody there are those who say they have vowed that your degree will remain a piece of paper. You have gotten degree, you have gotten masters, but there is nothing around your life like that. Everywhere, a man will vow a pastor and say, bring me your CV. When you are about to visit that man, someone will come in your dream and now molest you. You get up the next day to go and the man will say, I cannot remember telling you this. Ah, yeah. There's an army rising up there's an army rising up there's an army rising up men and women anointed to break every chain break every chain Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There are some of us, you are the first person in your family to enter a university or even to complete it. And the devil has fouled. He said it has never happened. And all hell is breaking loose. They say frustrate her, frustrate him, frustrate them. Who are these horns? Who are these horns that fly above the lives of people to jeopardize their prophetic destiny? Come on, pray. Pray. Tonight is a night of judgment. Tonight is a night of justice. Get angry. Tonight I will break limits where my father did not enter. I will enter by the power of the Holy Ghost. Everywhere pray inside and outside. Begin to pray. I break limits. Satan, enough is enough. Hey! Come on, get angry inside and outside for your destiny. Hallelujah. Look up. Please listen. 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 There are some of us, what is plaguing your family is the cause of hardship. Nobody ever finds anything easy in your family. You are born again, you pray in tongues, but until you have suffered to a point where even when God wants to bless you, you don't want to receive because you are used to suffering. 
everybody must walk like an elephant for everything some of our parents are working three jobs five jobs just to be able to raise 10 or 20 thousand naira it's a cost hallelujah hallelujah listen i beg you in the name of the lord please listen to me i beg you in the name of the lord i want you to get angry tonight one of the things that we must all break the lord was ministering this to me is this thing called limitation many of us don't know what limitation is you know what limitation is a mark has been drawn and they say nobody can cross this mark. There are many families that are suffering this. For years, my father was working. The people that he was part of interviewing them to get the job became his superiors because there was a barricade. Are you getting what I'm saying? If you don't believe it, I don't know how to help you this night. Because there are many people who just say, is it, is it real? Look at your life. You have been claiming, oh, I'm free. But you are seeing trends happening in your family. Come on now. There is something to break this night. There is something to break this night. There is certainly something to break. hallelujah hallelujah look up there are some of us what must leave your family this night is the plague of death some after two two years or three three years or by september or a particular month somebody must die or be paralyzed or be sick patterns of wickedness When these limitations are broken let me tell you you will find yourself finally you will see that doors will now be open and do you know what listen every time you force a door to open in the spirit you bring others into that experience listen hear this do you know there are many of us here our parents have gone for meetings to try to break some of these things it's just that where they went, they did not sustain the kind of anointing and spiritual intelligence it takes to break. So our parents tried and it didn't work. And God said, you, you are the one that has been chosen. Go, go for the family. Go for the family. Many of our family members have gone to all kinds of prophets. They have collected their money, plundered them, did everything nothing to show for it we hear the chains falling tonight the waters will be stirred and i tell you when the waters is stirred these powers that have put a barricade and said no man will rise maritally financially academically if you have been carrying an inherited disease don't say it's like that in our family this night you must begin to contend i can't remain ss simply because everyone is like that I can't remain AS because everybody is like that. I can't have eye problem because everybody has it. Get angry.
Bring them, bring them, bring them in. Say, Hallelujah. The angels of the Lord are in this place. It's time for miracles. It's time for that sickness to leave your body. All those outside, please lift your hands. Just those outside. Hallelujah. There are so many angels outside. Listen, there will be such a move of power and of the spirit outside. Hallelujah. At the count of three, you will shout Jesus. That fire, devils will begin to cry and jump out. Just those outside. Are you ready now? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your power. To heal, to deliver, to set free. Thank you for the confirmation of your word. Right now, in the name of Jesus, those outside. One, two, three. Shake the bokotos. So God so praise. Just those outside The power of God is falling I command devils Come out Come out Come out I command powers Demon spirits I command them Now By the fire Of the Holy Ghost Outside, the angels of God are moving everywhere. Outside, the power of God is shaking every demonic hole. Acts of witchcraft, yokes, curses. Those outside, lift your hands again. Lift your hands. I just want you to focus on the screen. Those of you outside, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I will count three and you will shout that name Jesus again. No power will hide right now. One, two, three. Go, 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 come out, come out of them. Devils, yokes, bondages, by the fire. Please help the ushers if they need help. Help the ushers if they need help. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. And miracles everywhere. I say right now. And right now. Miracles.
little hands to come. The power of God will move mightily inside this place right now and shake foundations. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. As you shout that name, Jesus. No instruments. At the count of three, no instruments. Just shout that name, Jesus. And the power of God will begin to deliver people inside here. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Sheketekete. Rekotopos. Embrebekete. Lekotosoparia. The fire of God is coming down right now. Mightily. Shekete. Mekoto sota, teke prias kaba, som pre teke te, seke te, bring them out. Seke te 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 te, ka pre ke te le bosa, em pre ke te. Please help the ushers if they need more help. Se pare kata, mam pre bot so pre tos, e kre te le bos. Seke te 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 te, se pre tos so pre ka. Ma prateko sopai Empreto stipali Ala baba 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 Se se kete baba 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 Se proto sopre kete bala raba Hallelujah This role lift your hands The angel of the Lord is standing in this room. I pray right now. Every activity of witchcraft. According to what the Lord is showing me. Those in this room. Right now. In the name of Jesus. I want you to shout. Jesus right now. One, two, go. Let it be shaken, oh God. Now, 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 and the fire break chains I command every force of darkness go, go, go come out right now come out right now come out right now be exposed come out right now come out right now There are still many people outside. Please, outside, lift your hands. No devil will escape tonight. Outside. At the top of your voice. After the count of three. Many of you will feel fire. As if it's just poured on you. My God, let no spirit. Let no spirit remain. Right now. One, two, three. Say, 
All those that have come out Those in front here As a point of contact To those who are there By the blood I bring a separation I bring a separation By the blood now Now, 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 now. I bring a separation By the blood By the power The mystery of the blood The mystery of the blood The mystery of the blood Bring the lady. Bring her here. Arosakata, Zekota Boba, Pompaliatosa, Arosia Katuka, Pompale, Pompale, Soriato, Akata, Prati, Pata, Pata, Suatebria, 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 Hallelujah. The God that we serve is not a dead God. The God that we serve is alive. He can change your life. The God that I serve is a living God. Bring the lady. Bring her. 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 Now, leave her. Sheila. Out. Sheila. Never return again. Sheila. Sheila. Now, all the devils here, at the count of three, your exit comes. You hear my voice. I speak to you from the realm of the spirit. One, two. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Out. 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 You must go by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go. 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 Be free. I set you free. 
Marital delay. Give me your hands. With a loud shout, out you go. Now. Lay your hands on this girl. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Out. I see you in the spirit. Go. Out of her. Now. Go now. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Take over. Out. Posha. Come out now. Posha. In the name of Jesus Christ. The serpent and spirit. Your time is over. Go. Go. Listen. Some of you are not out here. But there are things that are already parting ways with you. Are you getting my point? I want to rebuke delay. Many of you do not know the danger of delay. If you are not experiencing any delay, no problem. But I'm just flowing as the Spirit of God. Where is your sister? Bring her. Sister, where are you? Please come and stand here. Your breakthrough has come. Marital delay. It will die now. At once. Hold my hands. Look at me. Just look at me. Alright then. You will leave her never ever to return to her again. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now I challenge you. Zedekete pala kata prakoto soba. Shibakota gada. Nembrendi zile kata. Reto shikata garade sisa. Something will leave you right now. Nikota ba. I'm seeing you tied in the spirit. Marade shita kata ba. Marital delay. Shila. Go. Bo shipra kita kitu na yada. 
never to return lay your hands on your stomach they will never say you have a fibro I cross that spirit is a family thing hold her this is a family thing may they be free oh God bring salvation to this family right now now in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free hallelujah lift your hands I tell you the devil hates this prayer because if he can get you to experience delay you will give up on your faith there are many of you there are levels you would have entered right now bring this lady yes come with her just clear the way for them let me just touch her head well done ushers let her be free let her go together with the delay listen lift your hands everybody outside lift your hands I'm about to challenge the spirit of delay you can move forward because something is tying you down right now in the name that is above every other name every delay in this place at the count of three I command the devils be gone right now one, two, three go 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 I cause delay I cause delay I cause delay Every kind of delay, every kind of delay. Where is the woman? I, where is the woman I spoke about? One mama that was here. How are you, madam? You, you came alone? Where are they? Come, come. Who are those that came with mommy? Bring this woman here. Sorry, just take it easy so they don't. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. Where's the daughter? I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. God is going to visit you. This is witchcraft. Eh? Madam, this is witchcraft. I'm not going to go into any long story, but I need to pray for you. You believe that? This is your daughter? Yes, sir. How are you, my dear? I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. I'm seeing you tied. Kai, this is... This is acute witchcraft. Where are you from? I'm from Edo. Edo State? Yes, sir. Hold my hands. And I always find my spirit in the village. Ah, uh -uh, now, hold on. Why are you? I want to, it's just that I didn't want to talk to you. See, let me tell you something. Huh? The Lord is ministering to me, and I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine. Are you listening to me? I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine in your village. When you sleep in the night, they call your spirit. Is that true? Yes, sir. Just if I'm lying, just yes, say I'm sir. lying. Yes, sir. When you sleep, where do you see yourself? I when find myself in the village. You find yourself in the village. Yes. This is what I'm seeing. They are invoking her spirit. This is what that, that witch doctor tried to do to the spirit of Saul. You see that in the Bible. These people are necromancers. You will be free tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Can I pray for you? He is risen from the dead. He is Lord. Madam, look at me. Can you shout? If I ask you to shout, can you shout? I want you to shout Jesus at the top of your voice. Can you do that? Go ahead. Let her go now. Let her go now. Out. An end comes. I command breakthrough. Let this family change. Don't cry. Can I pray for you? Father, let this lady experience breakthrough. This is part of it. Eh? Is you are the one that brought her. Celebrate this lady, please. You see why it's a blessing, madam. You feel pain. At, you used to feel pain at your back. Eh? You came here sick. Look at you came here sick now. Come and walk. Let me see where the sickness is now. Don't worry. Come up. Just come up. Check yourself. Check. Do what you couldn't do. Check whether the pain is there. Do what you couldn't do. Just do. Check. I was already healed. Yeah. You were what? I was already healed. You were already healed. They have been calling me to come for this program. I couldn't come. Even when I was in the shop, my daughter said, Mommy, come. I kept a seat for you. When you enter, the Holy Spirit said, That is the man that will deliver you. I gave my life to Christ 20 years ago. But there's battle. I always complain, why am I seeing my spirit in the village? And anything we touch with my husband, there's nothing. I went to, even when you are preaching, you say some people will go to some me church to go and receive miracle. I went to, the last one I went to, I weep. I gave money, I cooked to this woman. He says it's a prophet. You cook for the prophetess? Who cook? And after I left the place, after I left the place, he just damaged my image, was just saying different things about me. And I'm not like that. And God did it for me today. I'm the king. Give Jesus praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are the one that brought her. Are you her daughter? No, she's my neighbor. She's your neighbor. What do you want God to do for you? I just want to get admission. That's all. Admission? Yes. Where? University. Have you written jam? No, not you are yet. writing next week. Yes. Hold my hands, my God. In the name that is above all names, we give you admission in this place now. The God who is bigger than any registrar, bigger than any senate, you will come back and stand right here and testify. You have it in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, no power will stop you. I use this as a point of contact to everyone who is going to be writing jam, whether for you or for your loved ones. I tell you the truth and I lie not. See, listen. Prophecy. Kaya, yaya. Reketera. Mambre. Tetekete. Balakata. Rotosepa. Every power that says you will not be admitted in the name that is above all names receive your admission receive your admission receive your admission receive your admission I provoke it by the power of the Holy Ghost receive your admission well, listen whether you know what you are writing or not May my God hold your hands. That oh, hand, that oh, God, oh, men, 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 it creates the scene for your breakthrough to happen. Oh. 
Shiva Paradi Kitisia Tabata Zigo Paradia Sagranda Bali Kitisu Palutika Likoto Pradia Saganda Ria Tagadabaya Parada Shia Makrundi Sizama Paradiata Zigo Shila. Give me your hands. She was coming to fight me. No, Shila. All right, you must leave. No, don't put it in. Hold on. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus, the Christ. Out! You are a wicked spirit. By the power of the blood. Go, now! Don't waste our time here. Now! Thank you, Jesus. Be thou and throne. On high and throne, on high and throne. Help me worship us. Be thou and throne. going to visit the issue of marriage right now please I want you to listen I'm just flowing as the Holy Ghost is giving me grace sister look at me just look at my eyes you must release her right now it's time for you to go out you go now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I set you free. Let it leave you now. Let it leave you now. Whether it's for yourself or for your loved ones, I want you to stand and agree right now. I'm about to command that spirit that causes late marriage. Please take it very serious. This is a miracle service. Don't say it doesn't concern you. And all I want you to do is just to shout amen. All the spirits that come to molest you and molest your loved ones and cause them not to get married in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that name that is above every other name In the name that is above all names I pray right now by the power of the Holy Ghost please get said something mighty will happen in this place now every spirit that says there will not be marriage by the sword of Elohim right now as you shout Jesus they will depart from you now one two go 
every marital delay. Go, 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 go. Let marriage spirit us back out in the name of Jesus. I prophesy to you. May your life partner come into your life. I prophesy. I call for your life partner. Supernatural marriage. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A lady has been healed of chest condition outside. Check yourself and run out here. Check. It looks like ulcer. You just feel something leave you. Please check and run quickly. Quickly. Come and let God seal your miracle. The Lord just ministered to me. Please check. Check. Hallelujah. I'm about to pray for the sick right now. Every infirmity bows to the name of Jesus. God has killed a lady. A lady. Is that the lady? Another one? Come. Come. You've been healed. When God speaks to one, he speaks to many. Look at just one prophetic word. Give them the mic. Is it working? What happened to you? Just tell us quickly. Okay, I just felt a pain leave my chest. You felt something leave you. Yeah. Do what you couldn't do before. I felt pain in my chest. Completely. Hold my hands. Never returns. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go forever. Come, what happened to you now? I have been having this burning pain here. You've been having burning I pain. How long? For I'm how long? I've been on drugs for over two weeks now. You've been on drugs? Yes. Uh -huh. The drugs is even, is even in my bag right now. The drugs, you go and bring yes. it. Talk to her. What happened? Please tell us. A sharp pain left me. A sharp pain right now just disappeared. Come on, are you celebrating Jesus? Look at the drugs. These are the drugs you take in the name that is above all names. Hold the drugs, just hold it. Hold it. Look at me, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are perfecting her. She will not need these drugs again. In the name of Jesus Christ, check yourself. God is healing more people with this kind of pain. If it's happening to you, come out right now. Come out. God is healing people. Ulcers, ulcers are going right now. Okay, she's been healed. God bless you. It's perfected in Jesus' name. Talk to me. I've been having this pain of chest. Please make sure you don't tell lies. For the past two years now. For the I've past been, two years now. I've been two years. This chest pain. Chest pain. Yes, sir. Anytime okay. Anytime I try to breathe, it will hold. It will. When you try me. to breathe, it will hold it you. It will hook me. Uh huh. Sometimes I'll be crying, praying. My mom said that it is over, but I've been going to hospital to collect drugs. But I told my mom I couldn't, I can't take any drugs again. But I believe that God will heal me one day, one time. What happened right now? When you said that we should check, and when you prayed, I felt that I felt that something is out of me, and now I'm healed. Breathe, do breathe in deep. Any pain? No, Any sir. pain? No, sir. Just keep breathing. The power of God is coming on you. Lord, let that be the end of it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Perfection in the name of Jesus Christ. Come. All right. I've been having this chest pain for over two years and six months. Two years, six, six months. months. Yes. Pain. If I breathe in, it just pain. Okay, breathe in now. Breathe in right now. What happened to you right now? It's free. Complete pain. Hold my hands. Lord, it never returns to him again. In the name of Jesus Christ. I've been having this um, peptic ulcer since. Since 2006. Yes, and recently. Peptic ulcer. Yes. You are sure, confirmed. Yes. Okay. And last week the thing started coming back again, and the pain was so severe. At times it doesn't allow me to sleep at night. But as we we're outside and we shouted Jesus, I felt. You felt something. Yes. That so wicked said, thing that has sat there, he must pack his load and leave this night. I felt. Hold my hand. I use this as a point of contact to every area of your body. That whatever has not been planted by my God lives your life forever. If you have problem in your eyes, God is going to heal all kinds of eye problems right now. Lay your hands there, please. I want to pray. 
Lay your hands. Please believe. Thank you, Jesus. When I pray for you, check yourself. And if you see a miracle, run out here. Even if you see that it has started, please don't tell lies. We are not playing gimmicks here. Some of you think it's an eye problem. But it's a demonic thing. I'm about to command it to leave you. Thank you, Jesus. Even itching in the eyes will leave. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I command. Eyes be healed. Be healed. Now, be healed. Be healed. Every blind eye open. Every blind eye open. Partial blindness be gone. In the name of Jesus, long sightedness, short sightedness, glaucoma, every eye condition be healed now. Please be checking yourselves. Check yourselves. God is doing miracles now. Check yourself. If you have any growth in your body, please check yourself. As you see God touching you, come out. You, I tell you, God is healing people. If there is any growth, in any part of your body what's wrong with him eye problem bring him god is healing people look at look at a miracle look at a big miracle look at look at this look at this look at what is happening to these people look at eyes are opening come on give jesus praise eyes are opening receive your miracle receive your miracle every kind of eye condition Hallelujah. We'll take the testimony. Check yourself. Don't let the devil stop you. What's, his, what's the problem with him? Look at this. He can't. Eh? Praise the Lord. No, 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 no. There's no time for that. What is wrong with him? There's... I can see. Completely. Yes. Who brought him here? We came together. Mama? Okay, I'm going to pray for him. As I pray for him, keep testing him. When he can see you, just try him out. The Lord will heal him. Lay your hands on your... No, no, let, let him lay his hands on you. Lay your hands by yourself on your eyes. I command new eyes by the power of the Christ. How long has this been? Does she speak English? One year, two months. One year, two months. Yeah. What happened to him? Uh, it was glaucoma. It's glaucoma. So we went to the hospital and the doctor told me that he could cure me, that she go meet any man of God to heal me. That he cannot help you. Yeah, so I'm from Zankwa in Zankong Kata local government. So I had you, this you came program. all the way from Zankwa. Yes, sir. Oh my god. Jesus healed his eyes. Glaucoma, I command you to be gone. Bow to the name of Jesus bow to the name of Jesus I command his eyes to open right now open right now please check him test him see, test him test him just test him if you've seen anything can you say don't be afraid this is a factory just test him sister stand up what is the eh? you saw light what are you seeing oh my god look at how this guy's eyes is so damaged huh can you see anything? I can't see. Look the at the only thing I saw was the light I saw and it went. You saw off. light? Yeah, when you just finished praying. So I just opened my eye, then it went off again. Okay, just keep looking at me. Please don't give up. Alright? Get him a seat. Just keep looking at me. What happened to you? I saw a sharp light in my eye. You saw a sharp light, you see the same light again. Yes, a sharp light. You've been in using my eye. glasses. I've been using glasses over two and a Who half knows years her? Now. Who knows her? Ah, okay, you all know. Who is your roommate? Roommate, where are you? Come now. Roommate, when we say roommate, where are you? You come out. You know her? So that you don't come out. You see, you know why we are doing this? Because of the stupidity around the body of Christ. Some people now can think that this is stage managed. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's why we are calling the roommate. Do you know me? Eh? No, what I mean is, do I have a personal relationship with you? What happened now? Tell us the truth. I saw a sharp light in you my eyes. A sharp I, light. I, I, I fell down. And then you fell under the yes. anointing. For, for two and a half years, I can't concentrate for long. I can't read for more than one hour. 
tears will just start falling off my eyes each until you use glasses yes, until give I us use something glasses. to read something tiny bible where are those small small bibles read isaiah 60 verse 1 and 2 i'm holding your glasses arise and shine for the light has come the glory of the lord is risen upon thee come on give jesus praise I see miracles everywhere Miracles everywhere Miracles everywhere And right now miracles. I see miracles everywhere You were healed? Who yes, brought this boy? Okay. Uh, How are you? Alone. Fine, sir. Okay. Wait, hold on. Let's hear the boy. Who brought him? I come alone. Alone? Yes, okay. Sir. He's old enough to respond now for himself. Is that true? Okay. What happened to you? As Please was, make sure we verify this. As I was praying from outside. Okay. Something entered me. So as, as I fell down and I'm coming. Now. I, I, I can't feel anything again. You then later, somebody hold me. Before I know, something started began working on my stomach. Something started working in your stomach. Yes, How sir. do you feel now? Was he blind? What was wrong? I Please feel check. better. You feel better. Yes, you were sir. sick. What was wrong with you? I was having stomach ache. Stomach ache. Yes, sir. Lay your hands. It must be perfected right now. Lay, hold me with one hand. You will see something moving, and that will be the end of it. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Who brought this small boy? I brought myself. You brought eh? I brought myself. You brought yourself. Ha! Could you speak English when you were his age? What's your name? My name is Victor. Your name is what? Victor. Victor. You mean they allow little children to come on their own like this? He's, he lives around or he took transport? No, I came with my parents. Oh, you came with your parents? Yes. Oh, beautiful. So, what was wrong with you? My eyes was itching me. Your eyes used to itch you? Yes. And then what happened? But now I can't feel it again. You can't feel it again? Yes. To the shame of the devil. Yes. Father, let this be perfected. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who else? Who else? Please. Only eye conditions. Okay. Praise God. I had these itchy eyes and it's always bringing out tears. The doctor recommended glasses, but I didn't go back to the doctor because okay. I didn't want to use them. But there, something hit my stomach and my eyes. Where? When I was standing over Where there. Where you were standing there? Who saw her? Is that true? Okay. Yes, sir. So I and it's gone. Back. Yes. Praise the Lord to the shame of the devil. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it is perfected never to return again. From the beginning of this month, I've been having this... I don't know, every time I read, I skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know why. And it started from January. You what? I skip the word. Like when I start reading, I just skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know what happens to me. What and do you today, mean go blank? Epileptic yeah, or something? Today I was in class and my, I was, we were reading. My friend was asking me, what's wrong with me? I'm reading the word. I'm mixing the word. I'm like, it started since this year. And she's like, okay, I need glasses. I'm like, I don't need glasses. Oh, when you are reading, yes, the, you will be skipping yes, the I'll words. Yes, I'll the word. I'll go blank, and I don't know why. What happened to you now? When we were praying, I laid my hands on my and my hands on my eye, and then a light just just hit me, and my hands touched. Light again. Pain, you see the and light. Then my eyes got very hot, and then your I eyes got open, hot. Yes, and you felt it open. open. To the shame of the devil, it will never come back again. Read Isaiah 51, just verse 1 and 2. Let's and see. And came to me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord, look unto the rock whence ye are hanged, and to the hole of the pit whence ye are digged. Look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarah that bear you. For I call him alone, and, and blessed, I blessed him, and, blessed him, and, I increased, and increased him. him. God bless you. It never returns in Jesus' name. You too. Yeah. Come. Okay. It started in 2011. Um, I was having a pain in my eyes and an itch 
So it's, I feel like um, each time it comes, I feel heaviness in my eyes. You feel heaviness so in your eyes. So when I went to Chica, they told me it's terrigium. That is it's mostly what? terrigium. That is, I'm not supposed to survive. It. That is some, it's prominent among um, old people. So and when I went, they prescribed some medications for me. I went, I went and what got right now? So, but while the prayer was going on, I felt that heaviness was relieved from my eyes. It completely. Yeah. You feel any pain now? No. It's gone completely. Yeah. May it be perfected in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Sweetheart, how are you? What's your name? Mercy. We have brilliant children in Koinonia. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us smart children. You came on your own? My sister brought you. Oh, your sister brought you. What was wrong with you? My eyes took Your eye used to eat you. Is he eating you now? What happened? When, when I was praying, I put my eye. You played your hand on your eyes. Uh-huh. I saw that the thing have gone. Completely. Lord, in the name of Jesus, may it never return. In Jesus' name. All right, the last person. Okay. Sir, so my eyes sometimes used to pain me. So, uh, me and my mother we went to sick bay. They said that I needed classes. Okay. But since that day, my mother and I never went. So, sometimes I'll, my eye will, will be itching me. I was okay. like... Start feeling sleepy, but now it has gone. But now it has gone completely. Thank you, Jesus. May it never return again in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, while the worship team just leads us in a powerful session of worship, I want you to line up all the sick people, especially if you came here from outside Zaria. Please, let's give you priority. Just come out quickly and then the rest join them. Please, you came with a sick person. Now is the time to he to, to, uh, to, for them to receive their healing. Very, very quickly. Please, we have a lot to do. Time is not on our side. Very quickly. Very quickly. Worship team, please help us. Hallelujah. Please bring them out quickly. Line them up very quickly. Please help them. Protocol ushers, direct them. Please, let's save time inside and outside. If you are sick, whether you are outside Zaria or not, just come. Please, come out. Now is the time for you to be healed. Thank you, Jesus, for your healing power. Those of us who are seated, begin to pray in tongues, please. My Don't be distracted. God is awesome. He can move that mountain of sickness will be moved right now. Whatever it is. Please keep coming quickly. Come and line, line yourself. As you come, just be praying and say, Lord, this is it. I am parting with this sickness. Hide me from the rain. Say, My God, heals me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weakened. Forever He will reign. My God is. I pray for you just begin to check yourself begin to check yourself let's pace them very quickly hallelujah as I pray for you please I want you to believe I already sense the healing anointing very strong on my hands and as I pray for you you'll be healed you will be delivered no matter what it is please don't go back the same you don't have to go back the same you do not have to go back the same no matter what the issue is I want you to know that you are parting with this sickness right now Thank you, Jesus. 
Jesus. But Lord, I give you praise. It's in the name of Jesus Christ.
What's wrong with him? He has what? What's the wait? Hold on. What's the issue? Yes, with my bike. And the leg broke. Wait! You don't try to lift him. This guy had an accident. Look at me. Since when? I think a week ago now. You can't walk. The the nurse bandaged my leg. Then what happened? I started. I couldn't walk very well again, so I removed the bandage. Why did you remove the bandage? Because pulse was going out. Pulse was going out of the leg. Yes. Where is it? Ah, goodness. Look at this. Look at me, brother. Yes, sir. Look at me. He's paining you now. Look at me. Just stretch the leg. Look at me. He's a demon. This is not accident. Thank you, Jesus. Look at everybody seeing it. I'm happy you're seeing it. Show them, please. Put it on the screen. Now let this leg be healed right now. Right now. In the name of the Christ. Can you see the guy has suddenly become relaxed? This is somebody that could not sit down. Something affected the bone in the accident. I joined this bone back. Now. Who is a witness that he really had the accident? Who knows? You saw him limping when he came. Okay. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Something is happening to you. Thank you, Jesus. I fix this leg right now. Within days, this thing will dry up. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Walk. Walk. Come. Come. Walk. Come. Come. Walk. Do what you couldn't do. Just do what you couldn't do. Don't. Don't. Just do what you couldn't do. See, he's surprised. He's shocked looking at his leg. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Give Jesus praise. Thank you, Jesus. Look at, look at this. Look at what. Hold on. See the guy. What is happening to you? The leg is drying up. The leg is drying up. Drying up. You are feeling it now. Yes. Everybody, clear the way for him. Rush. Go and come back. Walk. Go and come back. Go down there and come back. Look at this guy. Could not walk. He had an accident with this leg. Come, walk as fast as you can. Walk as fast as you can. Look at the boy is crying. Look at this. Lift your hands and thank the Lord. No man can do these things except God be with him. This is not for the glory of any man. Lord, we give you praise for that which you are doing in our midst. This leg dries up in the name of Jesus Christ. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the fire.
injection. What's injection? Injection. It spoiled the leg. Which of them? The right. You've never been able to use it? No, except with age. Except? With an age. Try to move it. I can move it. Just where is which one? Which of them? Try to move it. Eh? Just do what I'm telling you to do. Try to stamp it. Without this, eh? Not far. But can you walk without this? Shortly. Very short. Mm. Can you try? Right now? Sure. Do you think you can? Hold my hands. Let's try. Stand up. Look at me. If anybody supports you, if someone supports you, will you be able to walk? If nobody supports you, can you walk? You will fall. Yes. Okay, let's see. Try to walk. Come. Hold my hands. That devil of diabetes. It's time for you to leave now. Hypertension. You are a spirit. I command you out of her life and out of her family. Mommy, be healed now. Now. Take off everything you have put in her stomach and out you go now. Now! Did you bring your prayer requests? Please start passing them quickly. Look at me. God is healing you right now. The power of God is going through your hands. You're being healed right now. your last pass the request to the last person at the side outside please do the same thing let's save time everything you have written on this request will be answered in the name of jesus please pass it pass it quickly Please 
pass the request quickly. Just leave her. Lord, she's totally free. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful form. Just quickly, quickly, you quickly. Know, if you don't have your request, right? You one quickly. The joy of the whole world. Anyone attending to those outside? Those outside, please. Let's have their request. I hope there's a way of getting the ones on fa on Facebook and all of that. If we can't, we can just reach out to them by faith. Please make sure that you have a prayer request. God answers prayers here. Yeah. Please, everybody, rise if you can. Please, this is a very prophetic moment. Please, we'll start praying. The rest can come and join us. The other one. Pastor, please. Praise God. Listen, please understand that this is not a religion that is done every miracle Sunday. This is done on instruction and this is biblical. The Bible says when Ezekiah was threatened, he took the threat letter before God on the altar and dropped it there. Are you getting my point? These requests have threatened the lives and the families of many of us. That's why we are bringing it before God and we are saying, Lord, if you do not step in, nothing can be done. But I want you to know that within the next five minutes or thereabout, as we begin to prophesy and lay hands on this, the angel of the Lord's presence will go to different families, different places and begin to work miracles. Hallelujah. So all you're going to do is just stretch your hands here and be praying in tongues 
while the worship team leads us in worship just keep worshiping as they pray in tongues is that okay please go ahead Unto you that answers prayer will all flesh come. My God, in the name of Jesus, we trust you. Stretch your hands, O oh God, and visit your people. Stretch your hands, O oh God, and visit your people. Stretch your hands, O God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands, O God. Lord, let impossible miracles happen. We bring this before the altar. That which threatens the Christian experience of your people. My God, I pray that every request here be turned into testimonies. Let there be deliverance, so God. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Saraprake Jali Mazata Labroki Jilibana Zataya, Rika Lujali Krasata Tapata Shitaba, the God of all flesh, Jarapakata Shilia. Lazare Kapatasha, we declare Lazata Patasha, the one that parted the Red Sea, Rakapata Shitalaba, Ribi Zuri Brani Nekoto Shitalaba. Do the impossible right now. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. You break upon the Red Sea and you parted into two. Do the impossible right now. Behold the request of your people. Behold their heart desires. Let there, let there be miracles now. Intervene now. Intervene now. Intervene now. In the name of Jesus. We declare way where there seems to be no way right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, as a, as a result of an intervention, let there be influx of testimonies. Testimonies. Testimonies in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, that which was impossible with men, oh God, will they will declare that with this request, so God let the, let there be possibility right now in the name of Jesus. Miracles, miracles, open doors in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God, for your great intervention. Thank you, mighty God, for the great turnaround. Bless the name forevermore. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. We command that these requests be turned into testimonies. In the name of Jesus, let there be mighty miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everyone, stand. Everywhere, please stand. I'm about to prophesy into our lives. Lay your hand on her chest. Out now. release her and go now hallelujah 
And he said to me, prophesy. And I prophesied as I was commanded, not as I wanted. I prophesied as I was commanded. And there was a sound, a rattling sound. And bones began to be joined to bones. And he said unto me, son of man, prophesy to the four winds. And I prophesied, O wind, breathe upon the slain. And the wind came and breathed upon the slain, and there stood an exceeding great army. I want to prophesy over your life. I want you to shout amen at the top of your voice. Please believe it. Prophecy is creative. Hallelujah. Please play strings. Thank you, Father. Because you always hear me when I call. Lord, as I prophesy over your people, let it not be a ritual, I pray. Nothing will happen if your power does not make it happen. Therefore, I pray that the angels that confirm the words of his messengers, may they back this word and bring it to pass. Let this word become your word, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this word become your word, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this word become your word, O God. Hallelujah. And Melchizedek blessed Abraham and said, Blessed be Abraham, son of the Most High, possessor of the heavens and the earth. And the prophet said in Samaria, By this time tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, the Bible says, Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. He said, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. By a prophet, he brought them out of Egypt. And by a prophet, they were preserved. He says, he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. I'm not singing. Just concentrate. My God, would you step in and do the impossible? Do the impossible. Change the unchangeable. Change the unchangeable. My God, step in to the impossible. To the impossible. Please lift your hands. In the name that is above all names. The name that causes demons to tremble. The name that causes breakthrough and deliverance. I command right now. Let there be supernatural restoration for everything that you have lost. Restoration now. Restoration now, restoration by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive restoration. Everything you have lost, for whatever reason it was lost, I command restoration of opportunities in the name of Jesus. Restoration of destiny help us. Restoration 
of the years that the canker worm has eaten now hallelujah every handwriting against your destiny that has said 2014 will be a year of frustration in the name that is above all names be cancelled now 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 in the book of job he says in six things will he deliver you yea in seven things and one of them is the scourging tongues of men when men sit down and make enchantment in the name of the God that I serve every cause every pronouncement over your life because now because now because now because now for he has broken the gates of brass and he has cut the irons in sunder my God I pray every door that has been closed over your people in the name that is above all names if God be in this place, I command those two leaf gates be open now. Be open now. I prophesy, be open now. By the power of prophecy, be open now. Everyone called jobless in this place. In the name that is above every other name. Satele kabande kretisa kaj. Ashetete balakata pregede balada bagada bagada. Is there any man in the house of Saul. That I may show him kindness. And they brought Mephibosheth. A man who was not qualified. But the favor of God. Made him to sit at table with David. I pray by the favor of God. Wherever you need favor for jobs, I prophesy, receive it now. Receive it now. From the north to the south to the east to the west, I command jobs. Every man that has said over his dead body for you to move forward, may his prophecy come to pass. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to break that power that limits men every limitation every embargo that has been placed over your life that is said thus far have you come I speak from the heavens in the name of Jesus limitations be lifted now be lifted now be lifted now I command break records break records set new records do what has not been done I pray for everyone whose family member is overdue to be promoted the Bible says withhold not good from who, him who is due when it is within your power to do so it is within their power to bring the promotion therefore i pray in the name that is above all names 
we enforce that promotion now we enforce it now everything that has died in your life hear ye the word of the Lord come alive now dead relationships come alive now your goodness is real I testify your goodness is real your favor is real I testify Your power is real. I testify. How then do you know the favor of God is real? Listen, 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 listen. Your faith must grow to trust. The difference between faith and trust is that faith is predicated on God's integrity. Are we together now? It, uh, on who God is but trust is based on his integrity and his track record you cannot trust a man until there is a track record are we together if I'm meeting you for the first time Dr. Emeka and they tell me you are a doctor I will have faith in you I can't trust you it's too early it's too early to trust you I will see what your injection does for me are we together now when you give me an injection and I cannot walk, what should happen to you? When you give me an injection, I am fine. Then I come to you and you give me a recommendation and it works. I begin to note you and associate you with my joy. And then eventually I conclude that this man is worth my belief. This man is also worth my staking my all to so that the day you give me an instruction that i do not understand i can reach back at the archives of your track record and say i may not know what you are saying but i know what you said and i know what i saw genesis 21 verse 1 genesis 21 i testify i testify that your goodness is real I testify, I testify that your goodness is real. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did to Sarah as he had spoken. Trust in the Lord. How do you trust in the Lord? Take cognizance of his benefits. Be observant what did he do in 2001 what did he do in 2005 you see if the lord had not been on our side now may israel say on the strength of that track record they named him they gave a name that should not change a testament of their trust a testament of their trust so your assignment is to believe that God is able. Take your eyes away. I repeat, take your eyes away. Please take your eyes away from anything that is not Jesus tonight. And focus. Apostle, they've prayed for me. A prophet just like you prayed for me. An apostle just like you prayed for me. A pastor even conducted night vigils in our house. I know and I respect God and I respect the grace upon that man. Except that one more thing I did not teach you about the anointing. Is that not every anointing blesses you. The man must be sent. There were many widows in Zarephath. But to none was Elijah sent. When the word of God passes you, it does not bless you. It is when it is sent. He sent, not brought. He sent forth. It was when the king sent for Joseph that his life changed. When I sent thee, lackest thou anything. Not when you moved around. When I sent thee. Because every time he sends it, his integrity is upon it. Tonight, God is sending his word to me to you to us the word that lifts the word for your ministry the word for your life is going to be a quick walk some of you write from the communion as you partake from the communion you finish your own miracle service you will just join others in rejoicing it's true 
you know yesterday i observed and we learned yesterday that the reason why the communion does not produce is because we are only eating bread and juice we have not discerned it the bible says there is a sin that a man can commit the sin of not discerning the lord's body you cannot discern the possibilities that come from that body for many years i took communion and i was left in the dark as to the relevance of this thing in my life I would just take the wafer and take the the drink and then stop there nothing happened until i found out that the life-giving factor of everything is understanding understanding is what gives life to the spiritual activities and the processes that we're involved with so it is not enough to just hear it is not enough to just do it is the understanding that sponsors what we do that produces the results i don't know if there are people here tonight who are here insisting that as surely as there is a god in heaven whatever i came with i must leave it here tonight hmm. it is important god is giving you understanding now when i came into the house of the lord then understood i the house of god is bethel not just a place of bread but a place where the bread is broken Two men met Jesus in M house and they began to discuss the Messiah and he was there with them but they could not see. And then when he broke bread, the Bible declares that their eyes were open and he departed. My assignment is to continue to study continually by the Spirit the processes that makes for the liberty of the saints much more than the transformation of the saints much more than providing an atmosphere for encounters the saints need to be brought to a point where they encounter the reality of god's power the power of god can be encountered hallelujah so we're going to partake of the communion very quickly and for many of you this will be one communion you will not forget It doesn't matter even if you are the one who serves your own communion you may serve it like a ritual the wafer does not have any power to do anything for you the bread the cup does not have any power but how shall these things be when i'm using only bread and cup the power of the highest shall overshadow that emblem and whatever comes out of it can produce any result a handkerchief and an apron is not even alive talk more of having faith but when his divine power comes upon it it becomes an instrument of signs and wonders the air that you breathe and the sound that is produced from you does not sustain any power except that when your speaking becomes the voice of god then it is no longer the words of man john said i am the voice of one so when you hear me you hear that one hmm. hallelujah when it's time to pray for the sick i like you to believe god believe god to set people free we we'll do it very fast because there are so many people and praying for the sick takes a lot of time we'll do it fast and then after that we'll do the deliverance and the impartation and whatever it is that needs to leave you it must go it must go this night it must go this night please jump up on your feet your divine power your divine power able to lift me to a higher dimension in the spirit your divine power is someone praying on the last day of the feast jesus came and said is anyone thirsty is anyone thirsty the final day of the feast Shananda Prakatos Shekete Prekete Baladabash. Go ahead and pray, please. Inside, outside. Lift your voices and pray. Are you praying? Lord, I believe it is your divine power. 
Now I know how the results will come. Your divine power. I know how the lifting will come. Your divine power. I'm under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. I am under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. We are under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over us. We are under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over us. Lift your voice and pray. Sabarando Senekatabariatash. Tonight is my night. I discern. I discern. Sabrakato Senekebrash. And the lega brande zedika shobra gada baladabash, krato zazi gada barunde ketosh, embra kato zale ke pradish, shebra di kafosh, rakato bari ada baladabash, rakato bari indes ke meritash, rakapa rudasi ada baladabash, he barando zale ke rusi ada baladabash. Please keep praying. Hela baranda zazia hasa barando kate prekedi balaraba. Hallelujah. John chapter six. John chapter 6 we'll begin our reading from verse 49 to 56 John chapter 6 your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead next verse this is the bread which cometh down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die 51 I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, not is like my flesh. Is my flesh, which I give for the life of the world. 52. And the Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? 53. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Stop here. Just, just go back. Just go back. This is what he's saying. That in the flesh of the Son of Man and in the blood of the Son of Man is his life. That the life of the flesh is in the blood. Are we together now? Listen very carefully. So that when you partake, please keep that scripture. When you partake of it with understanding, the Bible says that you are not just taking a wafer, you are not just taking a drink, but that you are, you are opening up yourself to partake of the life of God. Next verse. 54. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood, had, I told you the word there is not eternal life. It's the word zoe. It's not the longevity of the life, but the quality of the life. And I will raise him up on the last day, 55. We're stopping at 56. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. The last verse. He that eateth my flesh, this is it, and drinketh my blood, 
dwelleth in me and I in him. This is a theological concept called the doctrine of interpenetration. It's the system by which two separate entities are interwoven to become one. The same mystery in marriage, the same mystery with the spirit of God. So that by the mystery of partaking in the communion, that means the spirit should not know the difference between your body and God's body. Are we together now? Yes. Let me tell you what that means. Come. Look at this. Emeka, come. Watch this. If this lady is his wife and she's weak and he's strong, his strength is her own too. You understand that? Are you getting me? Not part of his strength. His strength. So if you say she's strong, you are right. Are we together now? This is very important now. That means that when she's strong and he's weak, her strength is his strength too. Interpenetration. And so now, when you partake of this, although your body may be weak and frail, although your finances may be weak and frail, although your ministry may be weak and frail, although your body may be ravaged by all kinds of demons, but here you are introducing, like you are shaking the hand of the other partner in a wrestling, and here he comes through this mystery, as little as this is. Let me tell you, when you understand this mystery, you will not even be able to hold this thing you see like this. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray on this and then we're going to distribute it around. It's simple enough for you to open. You just tear open the wafer and then the drink. And please, the moment you do, do not litter the ground. Do not litter the ground. I don't know what provision has been made for that. But if no provision has been made, whilst you take it, provided you are not under the anointing, just pass it to the last person at the aisle and then you make it easy for the ushers or whoever is involved to just pick them up. You can use the, off the bowls or whatever you have to have them. We are going to pray. Please pray in one minute and mention the things that must live your life because they are not found in the life of the Christ. Please pray. By wisdom, O oh God, heaven's gates open up. With understanding, you order the season. Creating day and night. Turning darkness into light Arranging the stars to your pleasing But I can't Blessed are you, O oh Lord our God, whose words bring in the evening. Please pray in one minute. We discern your body. We discern your body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, it should go around. I believe that they just brought this to represent the communion. I'm going to pray on this. This is ordinary wafer and a drink. But not after the power of God comes upon it. It says anything receives power after the Holy Ghost comes on it. Not just men. You shall receive power. The you can be this. Can receive power. Provided the Holy Ghost comes on it. He didn't say men shall receive power. No. Anything receives power when the Holy Ghost comes upon it. Your pain receives power when the Holy Ghost comes on it. Your ministry receives power when the Holy Ghost comes on it. Your communion receives power when the Holy Ghost comes on it. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon this. 
I lay my hands upon this communion representing all others that are not here I decree oh God that in a very strange way may your power flow through this in the name of Jesus let it bring miracles let it bring all kinds of deliverances in the name of Jesus whoever partakes of this tonight in the name of Jesus I declare instantly may your power begin to rest upon them let all kinds of breakthroughs begin to happen let infirmities give way in the name of Jesus let deliverances let devils and demons begin to leave let doors begin to open in the name of Jesus Christ my flesh is meat indeed we partake with understanding we partake with understanding please make sure everybody something will begin to happen to you as you partake of this you will marvel and wonder at the power of the communion Go ahead, take it with faith and watch the wonder-working power, the wonder-working power of Jesus, the wonder-working power of Jesus. bring all those under the anointing out please bring them out quickly while we wait for the rest to finish please just bring them out quickly something is opening up in your spirit man my flesh is meat indeed my blood is drink indeed Please bring those under the anointing. There is a reason why I ask you to bring them. I want to pray for them. Something is already happening in the realm of the spirit. Whoa. Please be patient tonight. God is setting people free. 
when there is understanding to your spiritual activity then the power is released the power is released you will not believe the kinds of burdens that are leaving people already mm. my flesh is meat indeed my blood is drink indeed he that eateth of my flesh and drinketh of my blood hath my life not been planted by my father will be uprooted is it not written in your word that for this purpose the son of God was made manifest that he may destroy I decree in the name of Jesus we are going to begin to minister now that every force that is not of the Christ Right now, I decree and declare by an apostolic and a prophetic rod scattered around this crowd, inside and outside, everybody under any kind of bondage, I decree, be free now. Be free now. I command judgment on strange spirits. In the name of Jesus. The spirits of ancestry, the workings of bloodlines and territories, I come against you by the God of heaven. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. There is liberty. Listen, we're still praying. Please pay attention. I'm praying now. The Lord is showing me families. I'm seeing families under an intense yoke of retrogression. Nothing moves in that family. You can go to school. It doesn't make any difference. You can get a job. It doesn't make any difference. Have a business. It doesn't make any difference. I stretch my hands. Where are those people? Inside and outside. I declare right now. The power of God is coming upon you. 
it's time for your family to be released at the count of three one two three be free now be free now be free now i lose your family i set them free i set them free Surely there is an end, the Bible says. Surely there is an end. Even weeping endures only for a night. I declare freedom on those families now. I declare freedom. Shapas kote barakata. Don't be distracted. Just pay attention, please. Samarakato zegedesh. Ila banda rahas kabaruka to shadekata paruza ziana kata brekete la kuziana mas krate na zazia makatosh. You rise to a level and then you crash back. It's a pattern that exists in families. There's nothing wrong with rising. Keep rising, but you plateau at a level and then you crash back. I stretch my hands now. This is what the Lord is showing me. My God. My God, I decree and declare the spirit that causes men to rise up and crash back in shame represented in anyone here. The legal hold upon which you operate is caused now in the name of Jesus. I release such people right now. Be released in the name of Jesus. Be released in the name of Jesus. Overflow 3, please lift your hands. The Lord is showing me something happening in Overflow 3. Overflow 3, please lift your hands. Mighty God. Mighty God. I see a lot of attacks. Serious attacks on Overflow 3. I don't know for whatever reason that the people that are sitting there, I'm seeing a lot of attacks. At the count of 3, Overflow 3. I want you to shout the name Jesus and there will be a mighty deliverance there. Overflow three. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the gate of a prison and I'm seeing people inside. The gate of a prison like the front of a prison and I remember scripture says to open to set at liberty them that are bound there are people who are moving but are in prison all sorts of prisons right now I decree and declare even by the power of the Holy Ghost let the doors and the chains and the yokes that keep you in bondage I declare that those chains are loose now. I declare that those chains are loose now. And for all those in front here, representing all those that I'm praying for, I declare not only that the spirits leave you, but that whatever they took from you, as surely as the God of heaven leaves, your families must testify of that restoration. Therefore, leave them now. Go, go. Out of them now. In the name of Jesus, release their families. Release their spiritual lives. Release their finances. Paradox is a hasaka paradosia. Lembra ghetto scalaricious Hebras Kodash Prakato Baradu Zaziana Katabaladash Hallelujah Praise the Lord 
please this role lift your hands I just see angelic activities happening here and I'm seeing something being removed out of people's stomachs this is what I'm seeing here something is being removed out of people's stomachs that's what the Lord is showing me just this role I don't know what it is but God is uprooting something that should not be there by the Spirit of the Living God let it go let it go in the name of Jesus I place the Word of God upon that situation it must let you go right now the Lord is taking something out I still continue to see this vision God is taking something out of people's stomachs The Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, there is liberty, there is liberty, there is liberty. I'm seeing the feet of a man, and I'm seeing the feet of a man under chains, under chains. This is what I see, and the Lord is showing me fire coming to break and consume the feet. I know that this vision is a representation of stagnation again over men and families and i declare right now according to that which the lord has shown me in the name of jesus that anyone whose feet is being tied in the same position right now by the power of the holy spirit right now something is happening to people i decree i decree and i declare let there be liberty now inside outside let there be liberty right now let there be liberty liberty i command progress to your life move forward i push you by prophecy move forward make progress move forward make progress i forbid stagnation move forward make progress I don't know how to pray this prayer now. Those who are fine up here can return to their seats. I want to pray a prayer and this will affect a lot of people you don't have to bring the people out I found myself pray this prayer again and again and again and again almost everywhere I've traveled in the last two to three months the Lord has mandated that I pray this prayer and my goodness the testimonies that have come from this this is the Lord walking in the midst of his people that lady is not yet free my friend Osha, be discerning in the name of Jesus. That lady is not yet free. It's a realm of your grace. I can see your mighty power moving in this place. We're in the presence of angels. With God's glory on their wings And like the voice of many waters I can hear the angels sing You are holy You are holy You are holy Please someone to join the PR can join the ushers protocol can join the ushers I want to pray there is a grace for speed there is an exact grace speed is not progress no no 
there is a difference between progress and speed I had an encounter with the Lord and he placed this grace upon my life if not that it happened I know there is advancement and I know there is speed but I never knew what it was and how it operated until the Lord gave me an encounter truly let me tell you there is a real grace for speed and when that grace comes on you you will join the world in shock as to what becomes of your life and the Lord wants that grace to come on somebody this night there's someone here that needs this grace this is why you came it's not like you are stagnated but it takes forever if you will believe if you will humble yourself this night and open your spirit you will be surprised I'm going to pray this prayer. The reason why I ask some people to join is because every time I pray this prayer, people begin to run in the spirit and by the spirit. I don't know why it happens that way. Be sensitive, please. And then it is of the spirit. Please don't ask me why it happens that way. But if you will let me pray this prayer tonight, God can make five years the result of five years to come within even a month i know it works when you have this grace on your life you don't fear delay it makes no difference you will gain time within moments i decree and declare by the privilege of god's grace i stretch my hands inside everywhere overflow one two three online father i pray right now let the grace for speed at the count of three, come upon someone. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. I shift you. Speed. 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 Speed to your spiritual life. Speed to your finances. Speed in ministry. Speed in business. Speed upon your influence. This is a major answer to your prayer. I declare it again. Speed. Speed. Receive it. Receive it. It is not by might nor by power. But by the spirit of God. You can be picked up upon the wings of the spirit. And do things that eyes have not seen. That ears have not heard. I pray it again. Those outside receive it. Those outside receive it. I declare speed. In the similitude of Elijah. You will run and you will overtake the chariots of Ahab. Hallelujah. 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 We are going to pray. We have to redeem time. There is a lot to do. Your wife started a journey in the spirit. I'm seeing a prophetic progression in her life. There is a prophetic mantle that is searching for her. It's begun gradually this woman you are seeing as frail as she may look but the hand of god will come upon her and she will speak forth the purposes of god with power i stretch my hands upon you and i pray that the spirit of god will perfect let there be a bathing a bathing of the things that he has begun upon your life a bathing of the things that he has begun my friend come this man we may not have time to prophesy to people there's a lot to do lift your hands i don't know you you are coming from somewhere and there are two graces that god is bringing upon your life number one is for your own benefit restoration that's what i hear number two this speed that you see i prayed for is coming upon you i stretch my hands may that grace in the name of jesus first for restoration 
let there be a restoration of everything the devil has stolen and then i declare speed you receive it now move forward go forward in the name of jesus christ hallelujah there's an elderly woman here called rebecca 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 if we talk to people the time will be gone we have to honor it so that we can do some other things who is that rebecca Please, when you find the person I want to talk to her in the name of Jesus Christ we are going to pray for the sick Kai. this woman is outside you are not inside you are wearing a red like wrapper on your head the same with what is down on you Confirm it. Mama, your name is Rebecca. Where are you? From outside? I will pray for you now. I don't know you. I've never seen you, but I want to pray for you. The Lord is going to honor you. I decided to take a pause because um, the Lord just asked me to stand here. That's why I'm standing here. I'm standing here because I saw something that looked like a bird just come out of someone right here like this just like that just out of someone this is what i saw in the name of jesus release this family now release this family now in the name of jesus christ madam i'll pray for you your name is rebecca too please come i will pray for you i found the person i'm ministering to but i'll pray for you from where madam from where from area c area c yes sir. i want to pray for you what's wrong with your back back pain yes, yes, this is what i'm true. seeing you it's get up true, in the morning and, and then you feel a lot yes, of pain sometimes yes. you cannot even wash yes, yes. number two your chest too yes, it's true. severe it's chest true around the breast region yes, yeah. true, the lord is setting true, you free right now madam yes, in the name of jesus let it be over right now and forever in the mighty name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ ah! i just had like a car crash in my ears you know how an accident just happens right now this is what i just had in my ears and that the family that that should happen for is in this place i'm going to pray right now be free now i command death you are a spirit i judge you by the god of heaven and to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage i want to pray for you madam in the name of jesus christ that god himself will bless you and not only bless you where are your children madam huh? here. your children are here yes. where are they patient Isaac patient Isaac and Sarah this may be the last word and then we have to pray for the sick there's a lot patience and Isaac now only glow no day here let me just pray for you if, if you are the only one who can represent them stand up please my friend mama i will pray for you in the name of jesus christ because i'm seeing a very major breakthrough coming to this family the lord himself is bringing it so a very major breakthrough i have no business saying anything god did not tell me i've not prayed the prayer yet yet you are receiving it is the grace for favor the grace for favor the grace for favor this man will be like a well watered garden that the favor of God will call him Beulah and Hephzibah in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you ma please hold my hands in the name of Jesus the breakthrough that the Lord shows me 
let it come and come speedily in the name of jesus christ you are her daughter let me pray for you my dear in the name of jesus christ they will not say there is something in your stomach growing huh i'm rebuking something they will not tell you that there is a growth that is growing in your stomach i just laid my hands and god is healing someone in overflow one oh, please hold on there is a growth there is a growth there is a growth this has been characterized by extremely painful your period is extremely painful but more than that there is a growth just around your abdominal area overflow one you don't have to come out the power of god is touching that person right now in the name of jesus christ my dear in jesus name by the spirit of the living god we declare your liberty complete total final in jesus name i pray praise the lord now we're going to pray for the sick praying for the sick takes a lot of time our time is already gone i i bless god that there are a number of hands tonight now listen we believe in the power of god to touch people to lift people and most times you would notice in my external ministrations i don't have time to minister to people one by one but because this is a miracle service dedicated for that the lord has honored us to be a light on this wise in this city and it is important that we're fair enough to just allow the power of god extend to people we'll do it very fast um all of the overflows all of the overflows i would request that you just move those trusting god for healing particularly please i would request that you move to the front of your projector screen that's where you are going to be prayed for um the ones that spill over do i call that overflow five now i will just request you to be patient we're going to assign a person or two there to minister to you but overflow four three two one and right in here you are here you came standing in for someone or standing in for yourself please make your way out here very quickly and let's trust the god of heaven to set you free you are here full of faith please stand up please stand up if you kneel there will not be space just come stand it doesn't matter you don't have to come in if you're outside just go to your overflow please hallelujah myself alongside the men and the women of god represented here will be praying for you look how many people are trusting god to touch them hallelujah now please you don't have to ask anybody to prophesy or speak just let them minister to you if there is need to speak any words they will let you know praise the lord there are so many people this night and so we'll do our best so we can gain time and just just line everybody here and then we'll pray for you praise the lord prayed for just be patient and allow the men of god minister to you while that is happening our time is already gone please stretch your hands if you've not submitted your request um you can just wave it and someone will pick it up from you especially for those outside you're yet to submit your request just stretch your hands right here and let us agree this hold on please this is not religion this is not tradition this is not a ritual this is a mystery it's a revelation let us not get used to doing this just as a ritual for the miracle service because when we have the form without the power then it will not bless us there have been many many wonderful testimonies that have come out from here and um, since I'm the only one here let the men of God minister to you if you are still being ministered to just focus on the ministration but then for all others just stretch your hands towards me and let's agree that these Egyptians we see today that we will see no more please agree release your faith and believe we are praying we may not be able to prophesy to you personally we may not be able to give you a word of knowledge 
but this is a representation of your heart your pain your desire your expectation the bible says and thine expectation shall not be caught short stretch your hands and let's agree there is a god that answers prayers you someone praying online pray the overflows pray father we declare we are declaring as the church we are releasing and anointing the divine power of god upon these requests some of these requests are death sentences some of them are humanly impossible situations but unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come zakosh kamaranda kaparuza zekata paria katala kosia jekes kebranda katobra asada katabala dabaka rekete katabarada bakato barato zaziana kata shkala baranda kaparuza ziana kata in the name of jesus we declare upon these requests a representation of the tears and the pain of your people we decree and we declare makratos kalambre de keparuza ziakata bradias ile pereto zaziakata baranda gadash kritos kalabarakata balana bush shalabaranda kapuros we decree and we declare manda prados kaziza hashkala baranda kata arise for your people by the abundance of your mercy give your people testimonies in the name of jesus jiprakatos kalabarakata believers pray we are agreeing likato janana kata barados Jabros katabaranda kata supernatural manifestations of your power supernatural manifestations of your power supernatural manifestations of your power hela barakata soza brende gedebash lord in the name of jesus we declare supernatural workings of miracles tonight we declare healing miracles. We declare miracles of provisions. We declare miracles of jobs. We declare sentences of death are broken. In the name of Jesus. We declare supernatural interception. Angelic interventions tonight. We declare diverse kinds of miracles. Diverse workings of miracles. In the name of Jesus. We declare creative miracles. We call new organs. We call new jobs. We call for children. We call for deliverances of families. We declare miracles on every side. Let tears of family be wiped away. In the name of Jesus. We declare diverse testimonies tonight. By the workings of miracles by the divine power of God in the name of Jesus thank you father father we thank you for your mercy we thank you for your the heavens are open in the name of Jesus we thank you for creative miracles we thank you for money miracles we thank you for supernatural deliverances we thank you, Lord, for manifesting your power. We thank you for miracle babies. We thank you for miracle job. We thank you for special miracles. Father, Lord, we thank you for the manifestation of the world you have decreed over our lives. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we receive answer to every prayer request here tonight in the name of Jesus. We receive answers tonight in the name of Jesus. Special miracles in the name of Jesus. 
diverse kinds of testimonies uh, in the name of Jesus. Angelic interventions uh, in the name of Jesus. Supernatural supplies uh, in the name of Jesus. Great open doors uh, in the name of Jesus. We give you praise, O oh God. Uh, in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Let's give Jesus praise. We agree that as we have declared, it is done in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Our time is gone. Please give me two minutes. We must do the impartation. We have been fasting. We have been praying. And we have trivialized impartation in the body of Christ. We are always looking for people to lay hands on. Always looking for people to prophesy on. So every time we talk about an impartation, there is hardly an expectation. But a real impartation brings result. You can carry something now that you did not come here with. Please believe. An impartation is not just an anointing for ministry. I told you it's a transference of possibilities. Praise the Lord. So in the next two, three minutes, please let your heart be opened. You don't have to bring anybody out under the anointing. Just guide them. But please receive. Please receive. I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. No matter the quality of your secret place, you will need impartation. There are possibilities in your life that cannot evolve just from your secret place. You will need to tap into the provision that has been vested in the body. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus. The grace, you don't have to kneel. Please, you don't have to kneel. The grace that makes for a new level of visions people have lost visions in the body of christ we tell lies that we are seeing but we are not seeing anything father the eyes that see genuine visions let there be a restoration let that mantle fall upon someone right now in the name of jesus christ the eyes that can see into the realm of the spirit the ears that can hear the sound of the spirit. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. That prophetic river locked up within your spirit. In the name that is above all names. The grace for the prophetic in a new dimension. Who is this grace coming upon? Mabato Zabarakata Embreketeta upon all flesh. He says, I will pour out my spirit. Receive that anointing now in the name of Jesus. I believe in miracles, and I believe that there is a distinct grace for signs and wonders. I'm stretching my hands. I'm seeing a dove. This is what I'm seeing. Just like a bird hovering round. In the name of Jesus Christ. Upon as many whose hearts are open. Father the anointing. The real anointing. For signs for wonders. Pari gato shalentara makata. Brakatos kebarata. Inside, outside. Especially upon men and women of God. I decree and declare. Let this grace for signs and wonders fall upon you now in the name of jesus fall upon you now for your church for your fellowship for your prayer group i say it again for your church for your fellowship for your prayer group receive it in the name of jesus the spirit of wisdom there is a spirit of wisdom It says, doth not wisdom cry. Wisdom speaking says, with me are. Uh, it says, by me kings reign and princes decree justice. It says, with me are riches, wealth, and honor. Yea, durable riches and righteousness. I declare, the grace to know what to do is called the spirit of wisdom. The grace to know what to do. Let it come upon you right now. Let it come upon you right now. Let the spirit of wisdom come upon you right now. 
let the spirit of wisdom come upon you right now Please help those under the anointing. Tala barus kanama hashanas. Rata kapaluza ziadas. I want to release favor. The grace that can make a king say up to half of my kingdom. There is a grace for favor. I testify to you people of the living God there is a grace for favor it is not of him that run it nor of him it is not of him that that um, run it what's the scripture we net not of him that run it but of the Lord that showeth mercy he said thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion and the reason why you have mercy is because the time to favor her yea the set time favor will take away hardship from your life not just financially even spiritually i decree and declare receive the grace for favor it's coming upon you receive the grace for favor receive the grace favor in ministry favor in business favor in ministry favor in business favor in ministry favor in business in the name of jesus every geography has its favor may the favor associated with your geography if it was on the rocks the king built on the rocks it was an advantage if it was the sea they channeled the water for productivity every territory has access to favor i declare that the favor a portion for your territory let it rest upon you right now i want to pray for the spirit of revelation to make all men see the fellowship of this mystery let me tell you this i confess to you sincerely under god that by the privilege of god's grace i'm a student of the word but i can tell you this no matter how frequent you read this there is a spirit that must come on you for your eyes to see otherwise sometimes you will see but what you will see is error sometimes what you will see will deceive you i'm praying for you we need revelation we need revelation we need revelation we need revelation some of you started with a rich deposit of this spirit but as it is right now you open scripture and you don't see anything all you continue to do is copy the messages of men of God verbatim I declare that a unique grace for revelation let it rest upon you right now access inside access inside access inside into the mysteries of the kingdom this is the year of extraordinary fruitfulness I believe there is a grace for wealth I believe it I believe there are principles for wealth I believe there are understandings that can bring resources but I believe there is a grace there is an exact spiritual grace that works by causing men to come with their blessings when that grace came upon Saul three men holding two loaves of bread each saluted him and gave him one in the name that is above all names in this season that God has ordained for the body that in addition to the prosperity of our souls in addition to understanding influence and the principles of spiritual transformation let the grace that can cause a man to rise and become as strong as a nation financially may that grace rest upon you may that grace rest upon you May that grace rest upon you. In the name of Jesus. I believe there is a grace that shields men from destruction. He said, destroy it not, for there is a blessing in it. Don't touch this one. There is something upon it. I decree and declare, let the mark that exempts men from terrorism, from kidnapping, from assassination from accidents 
the grace that exempts receive it right now for you and for your family receive it right now receive it right now I declare that whatever you have lost coming here it doesn't matter how long please believe release your faith right now in the name of Jesus Christ I command a sevenfold restoration I command a sevenfold restoration restoration of anointings of money of ideas of relationships of access of illumination in the name of Jesus I pray for every ministry represented here whatever has clamped your wings so that your influence cannot spread beyond certain borders I declare by the power of the Spirit shift to a new dimension shift to a new dimension of teaching of the miraculous of the demonstration of the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ I will multiply them they will not be small I will glorify them they will not be few whatever keeps you small in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that power is broken over you now all those trusting God for jobs here yeah. you are trusting God you have agreed with God and said Lord settle me give me an honorable job I release my faith with you and I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that by this time next month let it please the Lord that you return with testimonies let me pray for those in business Father, the grace that came upon Tyre and Sidon that made them to be called the marketplaces of the earth, I decree and declare that the spirit not only of innovation but the mastery to exchange your value, the grace, the fortitude to know how to exchange your value such that you are rewarded, may that grace come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to every dying business here. Hear the word of the Lord. Come alive now in the name of Jesus. Everyone trusting God for the fruit of the womb. In the name of Jesus, whether for you or for your loved ones, we agree by the power that put Jesus in the womb of Mary. In the name that is above all names, is called the power of the highest that can put a seed in the womb of a woman. And keep that seed until it delivers. May that grace and that power come upon you now. We cause barrenness. We cause impotency. In the name of Jesus. Whoever has what it takes to favor you. The Bible says withhold not good from them that is due when it is within your power. I declare whoever has the power to support you. The power to help lift you. We compel them by the spirit to favor you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray in the name of Jesus. We are rounding up the prayer and fasting. Many of you have stretched your capacity spiritually. I declare. The fire of prayer that can burn an incense and cause it to reach heaven in the name of Jesus every attack on your prayer life let the seven lampstands of your prayer life be lit back right now in the name of Jesus Christ receive the grace to travail Receive the grace to pray. Any evil and wicked company and association around your life. You are not free till your association is free. I declare to you, you may be nice but you are surrounded by wicked people. 
who do not fear God, I declare a separation between you and the wicked. I declare right now divine direction for people who are saying Lord what is the next step in this season should I stay here or should I go the Bible says and thine ear shall hear a voice listen let me tell you one mistake to miss the will of God can cost you years before you return I declare accuracy of perception in the name of Jesus Christ that the God of heaven will give you peace by all means in the name of Jesus the last prayer point and we are done thou shall anoint Aaron and his sons and thou shall put upon him some of your honor honor is a grace it is transferable honor can be put upon a man in the name of Jesus Christ it says therefore God even thy God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows this is not in a competitive manner but I pray for you the grace that distinguishes men from the crowd may that grace rest upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ Thank you, Jesus. Let it be from tonight that miracles and testimonies that you have never seen in your life, we release them. Listen, listen. Noah released the dove from the ark after the rain. It returned back as proof that it did not have a resting place. Then he waited a while and returned and it came back with a little olive an almond tree an olive plant as a sign that life was restoring he sent it back the third time and it did not come back again this is how testimonies are they can be sent and they return because the condition for them to stay is not there and then they return again and say the anointing is now being introduced in that life and by the third time they are ready to be established i pray for you every long-standing testimony that has already been released from the throne and for whatever means has refused to be established in your life i declare right now in the name of jesus let that testimony manifest in your life now let that testimony manifest in your life now. Anyone that says over his dead body for you to succeed, may God answer their prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for all of those who have come from far. I agree with you. I release my faith. Whether for the miracle service tonight or all through the prayer and the fasting. I agree. The same way Moses tabernacled upon the mount and returned with the radiance of the glory upon his face. Return with the grace to prove that you met God. Return with the testimonies that prove that you met God. Return with the signs, the wonders, the transformation, the illumination. Return with the evidences of an encounter. In the name of Jesus. Let's give Jesus a big hand clap. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our time is gone. I sincerely apologize. But we thank the Lord for the encounter tonight. You will live to testify. Very quickly, please let's, let's settle down. Very quickly, 
please just help that woman so she doesn't injure anyone there are people here please listen overflow one two three four online there are people here who probably have been attending the conference or just came in here tonight and whilst you heard me teach and whilst you saw the things that the lord did in this place the holy spirit began to convict you that you need jesus jesus is not an idea jesus is not something and someone you can do without i believe with all my heart that and please prepare to clear the way for them overflow one two three if you are at the door please shift there are people here under the sound of my voice who are saying apostle if you will make an altar call i need jesus i need him desperately i need him truly there are others who are saying i love jesus but for whatever reason i need a restoration and i need my life back with him whether you belong to any of these categories please inside and outside i'm only going to count five don't be ashamed don't be afraid i want you to leave your seat very boldly and come and stand here it will be my joy and delight to lead you to jesus don't wait for someone to come before you be the first i'm counting one come quickly come quickly koinonia let's honor them let's motivate them as they come please clear the way for those who are coming from outside two Apostle, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm born again or not. Join them. Join them. Join them. Join them. I come from a Christian family. Am I born again? No, sir. Join them. I have very good friends. Am I born again? No, sir. Join them. The Lord is still talking to someone. I would want to come, but I'm afraid of my friends and those we came with. Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me before men, he said, I'll be ashamed of you before my father. I believe the Lord is still speaking to a few people. If you're coming, please come quickly. Young, old, make your way. Let tonight be your night of salvation. He says, in the day that you hear his voice, do not harden your heart like they did in the provocation in the wilderness. Today, if you hear his voice do not harden your heart hallelujah if there are any ones coming just allow them to quickly come i appreciate every one of you for making this bold decision please mean it sincerely and truthfully lift your right hand and say after me believing that jesus is here say lord jesus i love you and i believe in you that you are the son of god tonight I receive your life I receive your grace and I declare please help them and I declare that salvation is mine new life is mine from today till forever Jesus is my Savior is my Lord is my friend I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I declare that I reign in life hello scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.